Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to start a new series where we give you some travel tips and try to answer some of your travel questions. In this episode, we're going to be answering the question, what is the Schengen area? You might have seen from our recent video in Dublin that we had some issues getting to our plane on time. Well, we made it. Didn't have any time to get water or go to the bathroom, really, because security took forever, and then we had to go through passport control twice. Don't know what that was about, but we're finally on our way. In reality, this was entirely our own fault, because we forgot that we were leaving the Schengen area to fly from Munich to Dublin. But what does this actually mean? Well, we had to go through passport control when we were leaving Germany, and then again when we got to Ireland. We didn't think about going through passport control when we left for the airport, so we didn't leave on time. So you might be asking yourself, well, don't you have to go through passport control when you go to any country? The quick answer is no. If you're traveling between countries in the Schengen area of Europe, it's basically like moving from state to state. You don't have any border controls. So what is this Schengen zone or area? The Schengen zone was created to abolish all of the border controls at the borders between member countries. This is really to help trade and movement of people, just to make it easier to move around. The original Schengen Agreement was signed in 1985 by five member countries in the little village of Schengen, Luxembourg. Hence the name. This first agreement had a few issues and they couldn't really reach an agreement on whether or not to dispose of border controls. So the new Schengen Convention was signed in 1990. Well, a lot of countries liked this idea, so more and more countries became members of the Schengen Agreement until ultimately these Schengen rules were adopted by the EU. That's why this is primarily a European thing. And 22 of the 27 European Union member countries are actually also members of the Schengen Agreement. So doesn't that mean that the EU is the same thing as the Schengen Agreement? Well, no, the EU is a political body, and the Schengen area is really just an area with freedom of movement. Great, so you know the history of the Schengen Agreement, so what does this actually mean for you? Well, it means that if you're traveling between member countries within Europe, you don't have to go through border controls. You never have to show your passport. When you first come into the Schengen zone, whether you're driving or flying or on a boat, you will have your passport checked at a border control, but then if you keep traveling between Schengen countries, once you're there, your passport doesn't have to be checked. You'll be stamped out of the Schengen area the first time you leave a Schengen country for a non-Schengen country, like us when we flew to Ireland. The Schengen Agreement also affects visas. So if you're from the United States and you want to travel to Europe, your passport gives you a 90-day Schengen visa, which means that you can fly into the Schengen area, travel around for whatever reason you want, for up to 90 days. Of course, you might enter one country, but that means that you can travel throughout the entire area with this visa. However, that also means that if you fly into Germany, going to Italy for the weekend doesn't reset your 90 days. Okay, great, so you know everything about the Schengen area. So, which countries are in the Schengen area? Well, as of the time of this recording, there's 26 Schengen countries. There's the first five original members, Belgium, France, Germany, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands. And then we also have the subsequent members that joined since 1985. Portugal, Spain, Italy, Austria, Greece, Denmark, Finland, Iceland, Norway, Sweden, the Czech Republic, Estonia, Hungary, Latvia, Lithuania, Malta, Poland, Slovakia, Slovenia, Switzerland, and Liechtenstein. You might have noticed that three of those countries aren't actually in the European Union. Kind of how we talked about earlier, how the EU and the Schengen Agreement isn't the same thing. Right now, the states of Monaco, San Marino, and the Vatican City are not technically members of the Schengen Agreement, but they do have open borders with the Schengen area. The reason I said that there's only 26 members at the time of filming is because there's actually a vote on whether three more countries are going to be entered into the Schengen Agreement on December 8th of 2022. These countries are Bulgaria, Croatia, and Romania. So if you're going to travel to Europe, make sure you know if you're traveling to a Schengen country or not. It'll make your life a heck of a lot easier, and you won't run into issues like we did. Thanks for watching. If you have any other travel questions for us, please let us know in the comments below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.